got another surplus generator to go through. This one's uh, not so common. Uh, this one's called the LIPS, the Lightweight Independent Power System. It was used by the Air Force in the early 90s. It's a 3000 watt, 240 and 120 volt uh, generator. There's also a 12 volt charger on here. I found out after doing some looking on it. Uh, it does run on a diesel. It does not have a Yanmar like a lot of the military units. It has a Wisconsin Robin diesel. You can see the model number there. WRDI 270. It's painted Kark green. It does have a preheater on it. Uh, this is a 12 volt system. Uh, what this unit was was something that it's basically a copy of a, a Baldor diesel generator. And it was like an off the shelf thing that they just very so slightly modified and painted green for the Air Force. It does not have a technical manual, it has a uh, technical order because it was not a uh, MEP unit. Put a link to that below and exactly what the number is. I haven't really done a whole lot with it. I got it off Facebook Marketplace for a fair deal. I did add the battery and find uh, some rods to hold it down. I gave it a spray down so far. I uh, did make sure it has a little bit of oil in there, though I need to add some. I'd already had a tank of diesel in it. I don't know how old the diesel was. It does have both a recoil start and a key start electric. The key is chained to the unit. It does have a preheat, which you can hear click on and off. You probably won't hear it in the video, but it does work. And it has a run and stop, which I don't know that actually does anything because I don't see any solenoid except for this one to shut it down. It's got like the manual stop, run, and then start to crank it, which it does crank. Your lever down here, which is very stiff. Uh, I may, I gotta pull this apart and see if uh, something's jammed up in the springs and everything like that, but it's in run. And then recoil starter. Unlike the Yanmars, even though it looks similar, there's not a decompression lever, which I kind of do not like, but it does pull start pretty good. The way this one probably works, as I know some of the other smaller diesels do, is it has like an auto decompression lever. So when the RPM gets low, it automatically is decompressing. And then once the RPM kicks up, it allows the valve to seal. So you don't need to mess with it. I like having that decompressor lever up top because if you have a problem, you can push that down even though you're not supposed to and it'll shut the motor down because you lose compression in case it starts to run away or something like that. It is very similar to a Yanmar other than those differences. And uh, I had to replace the uh, 120 volt outlets over here because they were cracked. The voltmeter has got a crack in it but it does work. I'm gonna fire it up and then I have 3000 watts of heat gun and air dryer. And I also have my uh, kilowatt meters, so we're going to see what the output voltage is and the uh, hertz and everything to make sure that's working properly. Completely cold. So I'm going to try to pull start it cold. And then uh, I'm going to plug in the kilowatt and check the readings. I'm going to add some, I'm going to top off the oil first because I know it is a little low. When you pull start it, since it has the auto reset, pull it to where it gets hard, like you would on a Yanmar, and instead of hitting the decompression lever, it's automatically there. She starts right up and runs. One thing I didn't like see when I was scrolling through the settings, it shows the, the frequency going all over the place. Uh, I'm not sure why I do that. This stuff that I'm going to test it with is not too sensitive. So, uh,
kilowatt is showing a little bit less than what I thought it would be. The hair dryer is supposed to be like 1800 watts. And then the uh, heat gun is supposed to be like 13. So that should be like max load. But it's showing like 26. The frequency seemed to level out once it was under load. I'm gonna let it run for a little while. It's about 9.30 in the morning, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of a 100% load test for now. It's been about 15 minutes. And not sure if you can really see it in the recording, but it's kind of blowing a little bit of black smoke. It's been really black smoke between unburnt fuel. So, I also noticed that it runs smooth and then it starts to vibrate a little bit. My best guess is the mix between probably the old ass filters that are on there. Fuel filter, air filter, oil filter, and uh, the older fuel. It's just not running as smooth, but uh, it's been going fine. She's running good. I'm gonna do the research, find the air filter, fuel filter, oil filter, do a full oil change, drain the fuel out and stuff. I'll start another video with all that information and then I'll load test it and all that again after all the service is done.